All right, welcome back. Have you ever heard of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau? Our next guest is here to explain the purpose of the Bureau and how it all works. We welcome our great friend of the show, J.B. Bryant, is back on Virginia This Morning. Hey, girl. And you know, can you say CF? A lot easier than I can say Consumer (laughs) Protection Financial Bureau. Yeah, yeah. Let's just use the initials. And so many people have never heard of it. Had you heard of it? I think I heard of it somewhere, like a disclaimer at the end or something like that. Yeah. Consumerfinance.gov, and it is a government agency that proves that something good can come out of a bad situation because after 2008, the financial crisis, Mm -hmm. that that's what created this consumer finance. Protection Bureau. So, they, uh, the, if they if you've got a finance that's gone wrong or something that's gone wrong, these are the people that are from the gov that, that, that show up to help. That's right. I mean, they are there to to protect you as a person who's doing banking and you feel discriminated against, or you feel that the loan has gone wrong, or you don't understand. Um, why these certain charges are happening or there's an account that's showing on your credit that you did not create the account. So there, that you need to know who do you talk to. And this, their, their job, they opened their doors in 2011, but they were created because of the financial crisis that we had where people found that they had been, um, that they were predatory lending, that's what they called it, that they felt they were a victim of predatory lending and they didn't understand how this happened to them. Well, this agency is designed to make sure that you understand what's going on in financial services, in the financial products that are available to you. There's so much information on their website for you. And in today's society, I mean, we just had a major news story of the last couple of months where people were setting up accounts without yes. telling their customers. Yes. And you you know, it's a, you yes. know to you go to apply for a loan, you're like, your credit's bad because why? I haven't done anything. That's right. Yes, you have, or somebody dealing on your behalf. So these are the people you call. Now, how do they back this up? How do they enforce this? How do they Ooh, good. make good. things happen for us? They have enforced, they have done such a good job on enforcing this that they have actually returned almost $12 billion to customers. So and when the situation that you're referring to could have actually started possibly out of someone filing a complaint with the bureau and saying that what did this why did this happen to me where did this come from i didn't create this account and so if you file the complaint they truly investigate it and over almost 30 million people have been helped through the bureau yeah so and and they've got the they've got the power to go in there and say open that book up and let me look in there and they do and that's you're, we're, yes. we're theorizing that's how, that's how this latest scandal got co- uh, uncovered. Because everyone can't afford an attorney, so the government I don't says, even know an attorney. That, that's right, the government <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't afford one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it would be sad that if you're a victim already of a, a financial crime, and then you have to come up with extra money, and you've lost money. So their job is to enforce the, the laws that the government has designed and set up to protect you as a financial customer. Okay, so they've empowered us and they've enforced it. Now you're gonna educate us, aren't you? And my job is to inform you and educate you about this service that is available for you. And the way that they do educate you is that you, they have information on there for how to teach your children money management, how to learn more about reverse mortgages, how to learn about mortgages. Even um, they have PDFs that you can download about what if you can't pay your credit card back? They do a lot of work with credit card companies and people who have credit cards. And What if you can't pay the credit card back? How do you go about it? And they give you step-by-step ways of how to communicate with the credit card company to protect I would, yourself. I would say they've got all of that there instead of me being able to do it. I'll just call my friend JB, who actually <laughs> understands all of this. And, and yes, and I get and a, has read yes. it and actually enjoys reading that stuff. I look at it and go, oh gosh, yeah. you actually like that, yes. don't you? You're yeah. joking about it, but no, oh, no, I'm no, serious. no one can take care of you like you can. And I love that they have put it right there at your fingertips and they have a toll-free number also for you to go out and find out about what is discrimination? Have you been discriminated against? There's certain people who 
uh, they've gone online and they've been treated one way online. And then when they go into the facility in person, they're treated a different way. So they, that is a reason for you to file a complaint with them and say, when I was online, I was approved. But when I went into the branch, they took back the offer. Or so, so and how to prove financial discrimination with lending institutions, with credit card companies. The information's out there. You can do it yourself, but I recommend her. Oh, thank, thank you, JB. Thank you. You're my friend. All right. All right. <laughs> JB Bryant offers free money seminars every Wednesday at noon and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. at her office in Glen Allen. A girl never sleeps. Pre-registration is required. Just visit us online at WTVR.com slash VTM for a link for more information.